Hello, Wes Pastor here from Christ Memorial Church. Let me ask, do you think there's anything that's more disturbing than the lament of the tortured, the cry of the dying? Actually, yes. I would say it's the lament of the tortured, the lament of the dying when he's innocent. And Job pictures this for us in chapter 3 of his book. Let me pick it up in verse 1. It says, Afterward, Job opened his mouth and cursed the day of his birth. And Job said, Let the day perish on which I was to be born, and the night which said, A boy is conceived. Now remember, Job's livestock, they're dead. His servants are dead. Uh, Job's ten children are dead. His wife is embittered. And Job is now covered from head to toe with boils. Imagine the hair follicles all over your body being infected, being swollen, being oozing with pus. That's Job's state. And Job continues to curse the day of his birth in verse 20 of chapter 3. Let me pick it up there. Why is light given to him who suffers, and life to the bitter of soul, who long for death but there is none, and dig for it more than for hidden treasures, who rejoices greatly and exult when they find the grave? Why is light given to a man whose way is hidden, and whom God has hedged in? For my groaning comes at the sight of my food, and my cries pour out like water. For what I fear comes upon me, and, upon I, and what I dread befalls me. I am not at ease, nor am I quiet, and I am not at rest, but turmoil comes. What a lament. The misery index is through the roof. The cry of the innocent, it's unrivaled especially when the innocent is fully, unquestionably innocent. And though innocent in presentation, remember Job didn't escape the fall. Only Jesus was truly innocent. And only Jesus' lament surpasses that of Job's. As he bore our sin, as he bore God's wrath, as he hung suspended between heaven and earth, cursed by both, he cried, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And he did it for us. Lifted up was he to die. It is finished was his cry. Now in heaven exalted high. Hallelujah. What a Savior. Have a good day.